Scams being used by criminals in the name of COVID-19 continues to grow with new ones appearing every day. Tonight, consumer investigator Steve Sprasha warns us about some of the latest to show up in our area. Because the internet connects us all, the scams make their way across borders and regions faster than the virus itself, and they will snare the unaware. With social distancing now the new norm, forcing us to give up in-person visits to places like Starbucks, the scammers have moved in to take advantage of that. The most popular one right now is these social distancing coupons. We're especially seeing the younger generations. Here's an example. This fake Starbucks coupon promises 100 bucks to a user, but you have have to click a link to get it. That's completely fake. It's not real. And to not click on that link, um, it's going to be malware that's trying to get personal information on your computer or your phone. For many of us, going to the grocery store is now a concern as we seek less contact with others. So lots of people are turning to grocery delivery. And the criminals, well, they're targeting that too. Scammers are taking advantage of that and creating fake websites. Um, and having people pay for groceries, but obviously never delivering them. So if you are going to use a grocery store delivery site, make sure that it is the legitimate site. And make sure you pay for it with a credit card. So if you are victimized, you can get the credit card company to work for you to get your money back. The devastating impact of the virus has also spawned a lot of fake charities. We oftentimes try to suggest using um, a charity that's been around for a while. You know, a lot of scammers will create these charities that sound legitimate um, and, and say they're brand new and they're here to help. But unfortunately, in these unprecedented times, um, you just never know. And there are plenty of ways that you can go online to check them out. For example, you can use GuideStar, Give.org, and Charity Watch to determine real from fake coronavirus charity websites. Now, I've heard a lot of folks say, gee, I don't have the time to do that kind of research. Well, hey, guess what? We're under stay-at-home orders right now. You have plenty of time to go to those websites to see if some crook is trying to steal cash from you under the guise of helping others. And working for you, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprash. Always working for us. Steve, thank you. CBS 17 is your source for everything you need to know about the coronavirus. Tune in to our digital show, Facts Not Fear, every night starting at 9 o'clock. It will cover the day's headlines and a number of top issues about COVID-19, along with information to help you as well as your family. You can watch it live on our website and on CBS 17's news app.